Hey guys, I get asked questions about shade quite a bit when it comes to growing these rhododendrons. So I want to do a video to show uh, how my rhododendrons are sitting in the shade throughout the day or in the sun, how much sun, how much shade. Um, you know, there's all kinds of recommendations. Some people say that they need 50% shade, some more, some less. Um, but let's let's take a look at this and see what it looks like in my garden. So over over this way you know this is looking east the sun's just starting to rise it's nine o'clock in the morning it's actually getting up pretty high in the sky there um, and we've got some tall fir trees along here some of those are on the neighbor's side there but these roadie beds that you see are in my landscape and we've got one really tall fir tree coming up here uh, it's been limbed up pretty high but when the sun comes up about noon it'll be behind that fir tree and that fir shades this bed right in front that you're looking at at about noon so as it moves uh, probably about I don't know 10 11 o'clock in the morning it shades that bed and then the shade moves by and shades this bed and then finally this bed a little bit later probably i don't know three o'clock in the afternoon uh, in the worst heat of the day but all throughout the day they're getting shade now as it moves past this tree all those beds get maybe an hour two hours of sun and then the sun goes behind these trees about i don't know four o'clock in the evening so from four o'clock on in the hottest part of the day, the roadies are getting shade. And then the sun finally sets down over here and you see all the fir trees over across the street in the neighbor's property. So how much shade do they need? Well, you know, rhododendrons can take quite a bit of sun, but it depends on how you want them to look and it depends on the variety. So I've got the most amount of sun hitting these beds right here up in front. I would say that these beds probably get about uh, 50, maybe 60%, maybe probably closer to 60% direct sun, direct sun in a day. They're always constantly getting overhead light because there's no trees around them except for that one fir tree there and these over here, but they're off to the side. So these beds are getting probably 60% direct sun in a day and 100% overhead blue sky. And that's another point that you need to decipher between, you know, sun and shade is you know, roadies can take overhead direct sun all day long, or overhead direct blue sky all day long. They can, they, you know, they love tons of light, but not tons of direct sun. So you got to consider that when you're planting your roadies. Now I've got a bed over here. This bed is under really tall fir trees and from about noon, probably noon on, they're shaded by all those fir trees above them. But until noon, they're getting direct sun. They don't like that quite as much. And the, the, some of the varieties are doing re really well in that bed, and some of them um, could probably use a little more shade. Uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning, I think I mentioned that. I'll come back out here. You can see the shadows on all of the trees and plants, so you can kind of see where the sun is shining right now. Um, I'll come back out here at about noon and we'll just continue this video, but I wanted to show you real quick Back in here. I've got some deep shaded areas This is starting to get a little deeper shade and you can see in the deeper shade the rhododendron leaves start to get a little bigger now That also depends on the variety that you've got growing, but I've got uh, like these bigger leaf rhododendrons right here in the middle these are Lems Monarch. Now I've got some Lems Monarch growing other places that get a little bit more sun, but um, here in the shade, they, the leaves get bigger because they're expanding for more light. Um, but they tend to like it a little bit better. Um, and you'll find that the bigger leaf rhododendrons like more shade. 
Um, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Can rhododendrons take full sun or do they like full shade? Well, uh, you know, a lot of rhododendron varieties can take full sun. However, do they look their best? Well, I've got a couple dead guys here I got to get out. Didn't make it. Um, I bought those, I bought that guy last year and then this guy as well. And for some reason, I bought them with a lot of other roadies, but for some reason, those two didn't make it. Sometimes you buy a couple at nurseries and they just don't make it, but um, that's life. <laughs> so anyway, this particular variety right here. Now this is a real deep shade area. I am standing directly under all those really tall fir trees. And I mean, this area back in here gets tons of light. Um, but not much direct sun at all. As you can see, the sun's you know rising up over here. Let's see if we can find it. It's behind those trees right there. But it's never really going to hit this bed until it gets somewhere up in here and only for maybe an hour. So, hopefully you're not getting dizzy there. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I want to show you this variety here. This is a species variety, it's called Thompsoni. And I had that in about probably 70% full sun for the first, I don't know, uh, three, four years of its life. And it never looked good and it never flowered very well. Um, the leaves didn't look that good. Uh, it, just, it just never, it always looked a little bit like it was suffering and dehydrated. I decided to move it into this bed and it has just taken off and is one of the most beautiful rhododendrons I've got. It bloomed heavily last year. Uh, the new growth looks just outstanding and I mean it just loves this area. So you'll find that with different rhododendrons that some will do really well in full sun, sun and some won't do as well in full sun. So you just got to kind of pay attention to that and you can move things around from time to time. In different areas and see where they do best but yes um, you know you could plant a rhododendron in full sun and it will live and it'll do good and it'll do better and better each year as the roots get established however you do have to water heavily you've got to water heavily you've got to mulch heavily and you've got to keep that uh, soil moist for it for that first few years and probably the first five years I would say until it gets really well established and that's if it's in full you know 100% direct sun 90% direct sun um, but you know it may not do it may not look its best because when you put plants like this in evergreens like this in full 100% direct sun they don't grow they don't put on as long and nice uh, growth the, the growth isn't as lush like I mean that's some really nice green lush growth uh, the new stems are really long there. Uh, the leaves are really big and full, and these guys get a lot of shade. So they look really nice. That evergreen foliage looks really, really nice. Um, what else do I want to say about this? When you put them in direct sun, I do find that a lot of times, and I know I said about that Thompsonia, it wasn't blooming that well, and that's that one particular variety, but a lot of times, when you put them in more sun they will bloom a little more heavily however the the foliage may not look as good um, when you when you put them in more shade the foliage will look a lot nicer but they may not bloom as heavily now these guys here are in quite a bit of shade but you can see all the blooms are spent here and starting to kind of die back and the new growth is coming on these actually bloomed pretty heavily. Now, they probably would have put on more blooms if they were in more sun, but I'm completely content with the amount of blooms I had on these rhododendrons, and the plants look a lot nicer in more shade. So, it's kind of a compromise that you've got to make. Um, so, why don't I stop this for now? We'll come back out here at noon and see where the sun is, see where the shade is, and just kind of give you an idea of what everything looks like at that time. All right. All right, guys, so we're about four or five days after that last shoot. Uh, I was, it planned on finishing it up that day, but it quickly became cloudy and rainy, and I, there was no way I was gonna get any shadows or any effect on those videos, so uh i'm back out here a few days later and it is noon right now 
it's still a little bit cloudy it's been raining all morning but uh, might be the only chance i can get this the sun is like i don't know it's not quite directly up above us but uh just off to the left a little bit here and you can see the difference in shadows in all the plants uh they're starting to get drawn out towards me uh they're they're kind of moving to the uh let's see east west we're moving to the north the shadows are moving up to the north here and uh the you can see this bed right here is protected by that fir tree right up here so this bed is going to get shade for probably a couple hours, an hour at least, maybe hour and a half, two hours. But And then as it moves through, this bed will get shaded. And then that bed will go back to sun, the one in the back with the dogwood there, go back to sun for a couple hours. And then it'll move into shade with all of these trees up here for the rest of the day. Um, but still remember plenty of direct overhead blue sky right above them there's no trees right around them so this one right here is getting pretty good full sun right now we're just about noon and this bed's getting pretty good sun right now uh as this uh, shade mo or the sun moves across this tree these guys are all going to get shaded so just wanted to show you that right now at noon we'll move along uh, I'll, I'll try to come back out today at about three o'clock four o'clock something like that uh, when the sun goes back behind these trees but we'll see what happens it's a pretty weird day weather wise anyway uh, we'll see you in a minute all right now here we are again it is about two o'clock in the afternoon and this tree is now shading this bed right in front of me so it's getting full shade for probably about an hour and then these guys are getting full sun but now everything back in that area under those tall trees is going to be shaded out for the rest of the evening from you know two o'clock on so they're going to get lots of uh lots of shade back in there now maybe a little bit of sun uh sometime around i think five in the evening as the sun's passing between my trees and the trees across the road but other than that they're pretty shaded now the the trees across the road over here or across the way over here are shaded out right now really nicely but they'll get quite a bit of sun as the as the sun goes down over these big tall trees right up here uh, they'll get a couple hours of real hardcore sun right there but they get lots of shade in the morning and afternoon so all right we'll see what things look like a little later all right and here we are now at 4 30 so total shade here shade with some filtered sun you know through the yard there the filtered sun's just coming through these big tall trees up here and it's going to be pretty shady for the rest of the evening uh through this area just perfect for these roadies and then over across the street on or across the way on the other side there is just uh, total sun for a couple hours so hopefully that helps you guys with uh, how much shade and how much sun I give my roadies uh, sorry it took a couple weeks to get all this film we've just had some pretty erratic weather uh, up here lately so anyway hope that helps and uh, catch you in the next video thanks